don't get me wrong, I think the NCAA is a sham with how it's run, and I think it's a better option for um, high school prospects to go straight to the NBA, or they should make the jump or even go jump to the G League if they're not ready. But I don't think that option's for everybody, and I'll kind of get into that in a bit. But for now, it is June, Wednesday, June 10th, 2020, here in this quarantine. Um, I'm James Sims, and for this installment, I just want to do a little bit about how I think um, young high school prospects, they're ready for the pros. I think they should. They should skip the NCAA if they're able to. Okay, just to start this, I want to preface this by saying um, uh, I've been following at least call it high school basketball since I've been in high school. Cause I mean, they were, they were at high school at the same time. It was also, it was always kind of fun knowing who the best basketball player my age was. So, I mean, once, once I, really, I started really getting into it, like sophomore, junior year of high school, because of course it's easily accessible. You can find it on ESPN, uh, 24 seven, just like you can find these recruiting them. Num- you can find, you can kind of find them anywhere. Scout.com. So I'm going to follow it by saying this. I think if a player knows that he's too good for college and still chooses to go to college, you know, just for the college experience, I think they should do it. I have no problem doing it. Have, I have no problem with them doing that. I mean, I mean, from just seeing these past couple of years, like, yes, being a one and done at a basketball blue blood sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, of course, you get all the fans coming from everywhere. You're at least going to play with a really, really good coach. It's going to get you better. Um, you're going to play with teammates that might act like that are actually going to do something like, yeah, of course. But with, with, with that comes that natural caveat that as a collegiate amateur, amateur player, you will, not, you will not be paid that year. Or if you get paid, you have to, you, you have to not get caught getting paid. Like, that's, that, that's, that's the one rule. I mean, that's the one drawback. And I understand, I understand why some players will want to do that and just not even take the money because they understand what, what college does for you. I understand that. And I do think that collegiate athletes should get paid, but until that rule change, as of right now, collegiate athletes, it is still against the rules for them to take compensation, even though it's wrong. It's still the rules. Like if you get caught, you should, you should be punished as of right now. If the rules are in place and you get caught doing so illegally, you should be punished. But my stance on this all is I think that, I, first of all, I think that... Um, Players should be compensated because these colleges are making they're making money off of off of their performance. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying, but like, like that, that's what I'm saying. But my whole point is that as of right now, it's against the rules to do it. So doing it would not be smart, and that's a reason why I think players should choose to go pro over going to college. That's where I stand on that whole thing. I'm gonna follow this up by saying. If you're a player that knows you're ready for the NBA, I think you should make the jump. If, if you really want to get paid that much and you really don't care if you go to college or not, or if you, if like, if you, don't, if you don't really care, if you want to go straight to the pros out of high school, if you know for a fact you're good enough, as in if you're a cream of the crop five star at the time, I think it's a, I think it's a, risk, I think it's a risky bet to just jump. I, I think it's fair to jump to the NBA because I feel like at that point you feel like you're ready to at least jo- at least do the um the the G League option and make half a million a year and get better and play alongside professional players where the competition is better than you would in college, but you'd miss the whole you miss out on the whole experience of being a one and done, which is something that a lot of uh, great basketball players have experienced, especially now in the recent age, where you can where you can look someone up and then immediately gauge how good they are, how ready for the pros they are. So, for instance, like in past years, like when Marvin Bagley committed to Duke or Michael Porter Jr. committed to Mizzou, those guys were ready for the pros, and I wouldn't be surprised if they entered themselves in the draft instead of taking the G League option and then done that. And then players like Wendell Carter Jr., Colin Sexton. Kevin Knox, young players that we knew after their one and done season, they would be a lottery pick. Those players, I think, if they want to take the G League option and try to get paid instead of going to college, those are players where I, that the, that's what I would do if I was in their position. Honestly, like even like a Trey Young, if Trey Young didn't go to Oregon, like in their players like Trey Young, where it's like if he had gone to Oklahoma, people would know who he is and understand how good of a basketball player he is, and at the same time, he's able to learn and grow in that system and become a better individual player for himself. So I'm saying those players have the option to go to the, the G League and do that option. But if they're going if they, if to forego a chance to be a 
you know, just be a one and done. Like you should know what you're getting yourself into. I have no problem if you do both. If you make, you make the best decision, that's for you. Players have made both decisions and it ended up benefiting them in the long run. So even with like the R.J. Barrett, Zion, Williams, and Cam Reddish class, R.J. Barrett, Zion, and Cam were good enough prospects that they could have entered themselves in the draft. And I think players still, I think t- teams and organizations would have, they would, they, they would have risked something to take these guys at a young age and get an extra year of like get 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 an extra year of them in their system. That's what I'm saying. And then you have players like uh, like Nasir Little, Anthony, even Anthony Simmons even took the G League route, and then. He's now on the Trailblazers right now. Yeah. And then, of course, you'd have uh, players like Darius Garland, who wouldn't have to go to Vanderbilt. Cause, I mean, or Kobe White. Too. Like, th- those players, if they wanted to go to college and be the man, of course, be the man. But these are the players I feel like, those are the players I feel like are the only ones that should really be in the conversation of, should I go and take this opportunity and just get better just so I'm ready for the pros because I feel like a lot of these other players they 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 need the college experience to get better and get to that pro level because I feel like one thing that many that's kind that kind of goes on like it kind of gets unseen in this process is the gap between being college level and NBA level of a basketball player because think about all the collegiate players that that even have a shot of being an NBA player so that's that's what I stand I think if you're a player that people are aware of after one year they know you're going to be a, a, a lottery pick you should enter yourself in the draft if you want to get paid because that's 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 the whole biggest reason people are doing it now that's 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 why they should and even it's just. Just even even with players like James Wiseman and Cole Anthony, like they should have, they they had the opportunity to go to the G League. But you you're kind of getting my point. What I'm saying here, um, I think that just going off my point before, I think that if you're a good enough prospect, that that it's almost a foregone conclusion you're going to be in the NBA in some fashion in two years. I think if you want the money. You should do it. I mean, if you're if you're going to play the sneaky game of going to college and then illeg- illegally accepting money, you better not get caught. But the, the, the thing is, now you don't have to sneak getting paid when you can get paid legally half a million. You can legally get paid half a million dollars just for a year of development just to prepare you for the NBA. And for a lot of these guys, their dream is just to be in the NBA. So, but those are the players that if you know for a fact you will be in the league in some fashion, you should do it. Players where it's like it's a, it's a toss up. I don't think it's for you. Unless you're, un- unless people know who you are, unless you're a famous four star, I don't think it's for you. Like unless you're Mac McClung, I don't, I, like, I, I don't see why this is for you. I think if 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 you have the opportunity to go to a Louisville and then be the best player in the ACC and dominate and like just just, and then establish yourself as an NBA ready prospect and then prepare yourself to get paid millions of dollars, I think that's the worthy investment compared to just entering yourself in the G League and not even know if you're going to make it up or not. At least, at least have the chance to be the man, like I, to, to go to Pittsburgh, go to uh, UCLA, go to USC, like Oklahoma, Texas, and just ball out. Yeah, I mean, you totally have the right to. All I'm saying is the G League, that G League option isn't for everyone. And I really hope that that's just like a common understanding. Like, even I think players should be able to go to the draft from from high school if they're good enough. If they're high enough rated prospects like Marvin Bagley or Michael Porter Jr. or Zion or RJ, even Cam, LaMelo, Cole Anthony. If they want to go out of high school, they should. That's very fair. And with that, um, let's see, I, I really appreciate just taking the time just to, just just for you guys to listen to me. It took nine minutes. I know I'm kind of repeating the same things over and over again, but I wanted to just communicate my stance in a very clear way, whereas I think players should do it. I think players, I, first of all, I think players should be compensated. But as of right now, that's not the rule. So I think players should be able to go to the, the G League. They take that G League option fresh out of college. And the, and I think some should be drafted right out of high school. I think the player, I think players should go to the NBA when they feel like they're ready. But players should also be able to gauge their own talent and make sure that they are NBA ready before they put themselves in the NBA draft. Um, and with that, I appreciate everything, and I'm gonna sign off by saying peace. <laughs>